Hey, what's up, aviation fans? Before I get started on this episode, um, just want to preview it by uh, going through a couple of things that happened during this flight. Um, if you're watching this episode, you've seen the last episode, which is leaving uh, Phoenix for Las Vegas. So now we did leave Las Vegas. You got the view of Hoover Dam, uh, some halfway decent shots of the canyon. Sorry, the weather didn't uh, didn't cooperate on that one. But um, now we moved south and we had to find a place to uh, to fill up the airplane and start planning our next uh, our next process. So we ended up in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And as most of you know, Albuquerque is a pretty dry place, um, except for the two days that we were there. It was a very wet place. <laughs> and there was rain every day for like two days. So we were stuck there waiting for this front that seemed to be just out a couple of hundred miles in front of us. And it almost knew we were trying to fly east. So we're trying to work our way east uh, right along this frontal boundary that was raining and, and, and drenching the southwest and just kind of followed us all the way up till uh, almost to the east coast where you'll see where we were able to get through there toward the end. But I wanted to give you a, a kind of a setup for this. We were in Albuquerque for a couple of days. Now we're leaving. We're getting ready. We're finally we're going to file IFR because there's a low ceiling. So this is sort of the trip toward uh, Texas and all points east. So I just wanted to get the give you a lay of the land because this is a little chopped up because of the weather. Hey, thanks everybody for watching. We're that close to a thousand subscribers. Uh, I know that seems like a big deal to me and not a big deal to most people, but you know, it means we're growing and you guys like what, what you're seeing. Thanks for the feedback. I always appreciate feedback, you know, positive reinforcement feedback. I know there's a lot of criti criticism, but you know, um, I'm, I'm learning a brand new plane. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you do want to see something in particular, a couple people have asked me for an over the shoulder shot of the Garmin Perspective Plus that's coming uh, in some training I did. And I just bought a brand new GoPro 360. So I'm gonna try that out real soon and we'll see if we can get some really great shots, some great cockpit front shots and out the front and back toward Vern and I. So thanks for watching. Here is Albuquerque to Midland, Texas. Enjoy. My name is David Carrier. In 2007, I founded a commercial plumbing pump systems business in Florida. In 2015, after traveling the world commercially for over 25 years, I responded to a discovery flight coupon on the internet and was bitten by the aviation bug in 2015. From that point forward, all I ever wanted to do was travel from the front seat, not looking out the side window in the back. I decided if I was able, I'd travel the southeast on my own as a private pilot. Together with Vernon Van Cleve, my trusty CFI and sidekick, who's been with me since the beginning, we've been traveling the country looking for a suitable aircraft for my mission. I've since purchased three planes and in 2021 was finally able to get my dream plane, a 2021 Cirrus SR-22. This is me and Vern's continuing flight log and aviation story. Hope you enjoy it. Ready for the ride of your life. I know. Plus, you got mountains. Albuquerque Tower, hello, wingspan 5, visual 3. Your speed's alive, engine is going to turn the green. Full power. Full power. Is it full? It's full now. Yeah, 84%. Hold the nose down. Hold the nose down. Start flying it. There you go. Lines okay, up. positive rate. Pitch down a little bit. See that sink? Yep. Where's my toga? That's it. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Delay hotel, turn right, one nine zero zero, maintain eight thousand for faster traffic damage. All right, one nine zero eight thousand. Uh, we'll 
7300 Hotel. That's 4632, Albuquerque, so 8, Maritime, 4 mile finals, Skyhawk, runway 8 cleared for takeoff. 600. Runway 8 cleared for takeoff, Skywest 4632. One eight zero. Yep. Or one seven zero. Nine zero. To the headache bug. Hotel, contact departure. Over to departure, South Carolina Hotel. Flight level change, and then what? And then you dial your number, right? Yeah. Uh, autopilot on. It's on. Where is it? It's not on. There it goes. Why did that turn off? Did I turn that off? What's that? Autopilot? Albuquerque departure, uh, November 731, Julia Hotel, 7,200 for 8,190 on the heading. Sirius, uh, 731, Juliet Hotel, Albuquerque departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 13,000. 13,000, 731, Julia Hotel. Lost your pen. Altitude, not heading. Uh. <laughs> Buttonology, baby! One three thousand. Yep, get ready. And then, how do I activate it? I don't, right? No, it's going to it. It's going to go to it. Okay. So there's so there's so few things to do. Oops. Eight eighty six. Turn left, heading zero seven five. Vector final approach course. Descend and maintain eight thousand. Hmm. Left turn zero seven five eight thousand southwest. Eight eighty six. Skywest 4632, Albuquerque departure. Radar contact. Climb unrestricted. Maintain flight level two zero zero. I'm unrestricted to flight level 200, sky was 4632. So we have to fight with one. it. You can expect a base turn in about five miles. You're going to sequence behind a 7-3 coming in from the... Those are three five three. You can climb on this. This is like you optimal mix, two, right? Zero, zero. Unrestricted two zero zero three. This five, here. Three. Like here is one Juliet Hotel. Turn left, heading uh, one one zero vector Corona. One one zero on the heading. Uh, seven three one Juliet Hotel. One one zero. Yeah, weird. Yeah. Yeah, one one zero. Did you want to try the FLIR? Here is one Juliet Hotel, clear direct Corona. All right, direct Corona, one Juliet Hotel, thanks, sir. Flight plan. Tops are right above us. CNX? Yep, so uh, hit your um, FMS. All right, it's highlighted, right, hit direct. Direct. CNX, enter, enter. Those are 353, contact Albuquerque Center, 133.65. See you later. 3, we're damn near Albuquerque. right on it. Yep, so we're So he just it. pointed us toward it. So we can get rid of that and get rid of the flight plan. What's the temperature? Negative one. 
probably want to put on some de-icing on, on normal. Okay. On. Normal. Right when we normal. popped out, huh? Just leave it on. We're going back in. Okay. Look at it. You can see it. See it coming on the windshield. Yeah. It pumping out yet. UPS 2888, turn left, heading 120. I do, see, uh, do, see, I do see some blue this direction. Cirrus 1 Juliet Hotel, contact Albuquerque Center 133.65. Have a good day. Albuquerque Center 13365. Have a good day. Thanks for your time. Uh, at the Red Juliet Hotel. Foxtrot, that's for door 726 Bravo, Foxtrot 126.9 or 2. 12 5 for, yeah, for uh, 726 Bravo, Foxtrot. And now for an overview number 440 Alpha, Foxtrot, contact Albuquerque Center 126.9 or 2. Alright, now we'll go to 2692 Alpha, Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Albuquerque, Albuquerque Center 31 Juliet Hotel, 12500 one, one, for 13. Center 731, Julia Hotel, Albuquerque, Center Albuquerque, altimeter 3015, you said you're coming to 13? Yes, sir, 13. Center 731, Julia Hotel, thanks. Afternoon, Albuquerque, Lear 76, Mike Julia, fly level 450. Indicated air speed. So this is now our little evaluation of our exit from uh, Albuquerque. So we literally took several left turns at Albuquerque <laughs> this time around. So many that we were going in a circle. Post that, that screenshot right about here. Last night we went in a circle. It took, took a left turn to Albuquerque, literally, because uh, we just weren't comfortable. New plane, uh, we were getting a radio squ static. I don't know what that's, neither of us know what caused the static to this. It resolved itself. So it's a gremlin that's going to need to be dealt with at some point. Right now, we're in a nice little layer between two layers here. See out. Make sure it's working. <laughs> you can see the layer over your shoulder, too. Okay, good. Okay. Okay, I think this is dead. Intersection at the maintain uh, one five thousand and transition to two hundred and seventy yeah, knots or less. We are at one anyway, five thousand and transition. They can see over your shoulder. Yeah, we're between layers here. And uh, sixty one point level two four zero. That that was uh forty six. That was intense because we're following a bunch of departing storms. We just want to make sure we're safe and are making good aeronautical decision making. And I think we made the right one here. So we're back in it again. We're headed east. Look at these. Look at these giant potholes. Yeah. That's crazy. Let me let me take a shot of that. I don't know what the state's doing, but they could get their road workers on that. Look at this. It looks like the potholes on I-75. Yeah. <laughs> giant pothole looking things. I guess they're dried lake beds. You yeah, think? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Some agriculture back there. Some wind farm. Yeah, that there. looks like it. Like a like a river back there. That could be. Wind farms out in the distance. I don't know if you can actually see that. Some crazy, uh, crazy sights out here right now. But good, ED good ADM. This is the way to fly. It's flying smart. I know we sound like a Cirrus commercial, but <laughs> this is about a life commercial, right? Right. The life you save may be your own. 
So let's see what's going on with our camera. I know what's going on with the camera. <laughs> you think you know? What, what do you think? <laughs> Dave's got it together today, you baby. You got one job, man. One job. One job. <laughs> lay of the land here uh, on the uh, uh, the perspective plus we've got we've got our similar PFD with, with a lot more capabilities than the Avdine and you know, there's this everything is right here you know uh, airspeed altitude we even set the minimums at the airport we're coming in there at the bottom and then of course the whole entire BFD is essentially your HSI. The compass is nice, neatly tucked uh, down below. And take a look at what we're flying through right now. Nothing. Just a mess. We're trying to navigate the map. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not in Florida. This is the desert southwest. Regardless of what this radar tells you. <laughs> yeah, we are between layers, so it's all good. Sitting here at 13,000 feet, and uh, planes running fabulous. And uh, it's pretty calm right here right now. But I may rue the day I said that. I don't know. Right now, it's so far so good. We got a we got a ground speed of about 100. We got a ground speed of 162 knots. So we're getting a, we're getting a push. Oh. All right, Midland, uh, so, no, Sirius 731 Jewel Hotel, high left base, runway 7, uh, inbound full stop, uh, any track please advise, uh, Midland. 1227, right? Yeah. Whee! Yeah. Okay, so, since I didn't have the recorder on, <laughs> this is the Burns Midland, Texas approach. And I'm here for the ride. So enjoy. All right, Midland traffic, 731 Geo Hotel, uh, three mile final, runway seven, Midland. What's the flap speed? One, uh, 120, I think. Yeah, I'm testing you. <laughs> it is 120 on this one, right? Yeah, 119, 120. Okay, and 100 for full. And Midland, tech, or Midland traffic, 731 Jewel Hotel, two miles on, number seven, Midland. All right, see that green donut right there underneath the speed? Yep. Check out your uh, your AOA to go with it. Uh. So that green donut is your AOA. Okay. So your 1.3 VSO. 500. It's a good cheat. You know, I'm always saying high, low, fast, or slow. Mm -hmm. That green donut will tell you if you're fast or slow. You look outside, you tell you, it tells you if you're high or low. Yep. If you if your green donut is above your you're airspeed, slowing. right? But if your green donut's above your airspeed, yep, then you're probably too slow for this point in space, right? Oh, now. I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. And Midland uh, traffic, so we're going to do it. The hotel is short. Final number seven, Midland. Midland traffic, so we're going to do it. The hotel is short. Final number seven, Midland. Yeah, damper is off. All right, runway seven confirmed. Confirmed. And. On the numbers, not on the number, but on the numbers for the the approach. A little high. Balance it out. Come on.
Okay. Really? <laughs> no stall horn? I don't feel so bad. <laughs> A little thump. Getting used to it. I don't feel so bad. All right, get this tax diagram up. I felt a little wonky on that, too. I was trying to be patient yeah. for it. Yep. So, at the end of uh, seven, there's only one place to go. To the right. So, Alpha, to the right. <laughs> Can't take the highway back around? You can't... Right. Oh, give me some air, baby. Yeah. Let's get comfy. Take a picture of this. This is why we landed here, right? Yep. Straight and flip it, Cirrus style. I know. Boost off. Flaps up. Oxygen off. Power. The captain is in the house. I'll tell you, look at how that way, though, man. Look how nice that looks. So, here we are in Midland, Texas. We should be traveling in that CJ3, but it's the Cirrus for now. I'm not gonna be picky. That looks like a Mitsubishi MU2, is that what you'd call that? Mitsubishi. Yeah, it's a Mitsu. Typical when you're flying through the state of Texas, things get things are big. Things are big in Texas, um, including thunderstorms. Really big, nasty thunderstorms. And we tried to pick our way through, and we we didn't make it. We we got as far as Security County, and we're here at Scurry County Airport in the beautiful burg of Snyder, Texas, uh, or Scurry, Texas, Snyder, Texas, somewhere. Pizzas. And uh, the airport's closed. See behind me, the phone's ringing. The phone's ringing, Vern. <laughs> so here's the, I mean, there is, a, there is a crew car that's left it after hours. There it is right there. And, you know, no keys in it, but, you know, we were hoping to get to a hotel, take a rest, start again tomorrow. So there's no lift service. There's no taxi service. There's no Uber service. There's no service here. So there's the doors, they're locked. And uh, there's the Cirrus. She looks good under the light. And of course, the infamous crew car. Oh, there's somebody at the front door. Who is that? <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't trust him. That old head. Yeah, he's a very unsavory looking character out there in front of the scurry. So uh, we did call the county dispatcher and uh, they're, they're on it. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. We're stuck in Texas. Okay, we have an update. Mr. Juarez, who is evidently in charge of this particular establishment, is going to drive down for us, unlock the door, and get us keys to the crew car. So we do have a ride tonight to the hotel, and it's gonna be in style, Vern. Oh, yeah. It's going to be in a uh, 1976 Ford Crown Vic. No, I think it's like a, I think it's like a 1990 it's a something. County Airport on the other, on the side. <laughs> of 
Crown Victoria. We do, so, but these guys are hospitable when you get a hold of them. Very nice. <laughs> Can I say, for the record, the Snyder County people, the Scurry, Texas uh, 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 folks are very hospitable, and uh, they had literally the entire city dispatch office looking for a way to get us from this empty airport. The number for the after hours fuel is actually the same number for the 911 emergency dispatch, fire dispatch, police dispatch. Uh, so, <laughs> crew car, fire, robbery, it doesn't that. matter. It's one number. So, uh, we're, we're good now. Mr. Uh, Hori is on his way. Horez. Horez is on his way, and um, we are on our way to maybe get some really good Whataburger and then go to the hotel. Because there is a Whataburger. It is cold up here. It's cold as hell. It is cold as hell. It's freezing. I can't believe it. It's like, well, it's early October, so okay. We're in Texas, so. Yep. Right. Okay. See ya. See ya.